I'm Taylor and I am a second year MPH student at Columbia and... I'm Tim, uh, I'm a first year student at Tufts Medical School. And so I am doing my internship practicum for my MPH this summer at a biopharma company and um, Tim just started his first week of classes. So we figured we'd kind of uh, show what those two different things look like. Back in the city, um, so I have a meeting at 3, so I'm gonna grab some food and then change and head to work. All right, so today I had a small group on basically population health and um, some of the, the concerning things regarding identity and privilege in medicine, which was super informative, highly recommend. Um, but given that it's the first day, it means I don't have any homework, and so today is just going to be spent doing errands like grocery shopping, which is what I'm on my way to do right now. So I have my food, changed my clothes, and now I have just enough time to check my email and stuff and then go to my meeting at three. So um, the meeting is, we have bi-weekly intern huddles, and so it's one of those. And so it's always like a meeting with someone high up in the company. So today we're meeting with the chief medical officer. Um, and the interns like just get time to sit down and talk and most of the time there's food um, Which now I have two food. We'll, we'll see we'll, But um, yeah, so happy Monday of the day where I am going from one job to the next so I finished my morning job and I'm walking to my office um, for the second half of the day. Hey guys so I just got back from my ethics discussion which is pretty cool. Um, we talked a lot about like different levels of professionalism and what's appropriate and what context and what's not. Um, but yeah, and now it's lunchtime and then after that I'm going to go on a walking tour of the neighborhood. So keep you posted. So the Chinatown walking tour is over. Um, it was really cool. They talked about like the historic origins of Chinatown, um, kind of some of the development, the like government uh, uh, disinvestment um, in the area and then like now the reinvestment um, and the attempt at gentrification and kind of the community resistance to it um, as well as how like Tufts fits in all of that so uh, it's pretty interesting on my way home now uh, that's pretty much the end of my day so very exciting stuff so I'm just now getting ready to leave the office I was working on a slide deck for a work plan uh, for a possible collaboration that we're doing and so I met with someone um, more on like the science side of things and got taught a lot of um, sort of like the science behind this project and then I met with my business development supervisor and kind of talked through what all of those like science specifics needed to be included and kind of talked about the the psychology of like when people are experts in things they um, want to dive really deep into those details and sometimes like from a business development standpoint at least you have to like take the more zoomed out like story version of everything so that was really interesting to kind of talk about um, and think about like the workplace psychology but um, yeah, so I wanted to update the slide deck that I was working on based on those two meetings before I left today so that we could hopefully meet tomorrow and review them all together. And um, that takes as long as it takes, so. So just got off the conference call for AMWA. So I'm a part of the Opioid Addiction in Women um, like subcommittee or task force um, within AMWA. And so we were having a conversation about different policies in different states and if those policies mention women or not because a lot of them don't, spoiler alert. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna be helping with a project um, kind of looking at, at those kinds of things across different states. And um, yeah, I also like tended to 
my Columbia emails because they have been way behind and I'm finishing up some like IRB training like city certification kind of thing for like uh, clinical well for like human subjects research um, that like you have to take them to get your IRB approved or like to be like I have to take them so that I can be on my IRB for my research project like my practicum for the summer so yeah now I finally get to take a shower and go to sleep and start again tomorrow. <laughs>Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning, um, and I actually have a day off today. Uh, I got my MPH before I went to med school, and so I got exempted from the epidemiology and biostatistics course. So I have today off. Uh, I'm going to run some errands in the morning, um, and then I think I have a, a high-volume learning seminar um, in the afternoon that is still required. So uh, yeah, about to head out. So first job of the day is done and now I'm walking to a meeting that I have with the Mailman um, Office of Diversity and Inclusion to talk to them about um, Columbia becoming a signatory for Times Up Healthcare, um, which is like this movement for um, women's equality in like the workplace and things like that. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Wednesday workday part two. So I just got back from class. Um, that's pretty much the end of my day. I'm gonna go and study a little bit in my room and uh, yeah, basically just pray, prepare for tomorrow. So that's it. Well, it definitely feels like a Thursday. I am ready for this week to be over. I am ready to be done with my slide deck for my internship presentation. Um, all of us interns have to present to the whole company next Tuesday, so um, I have to finish my slide deck for that, and I'm ready to be done with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. Hey guys, happy Friday. Uh, I'm a little late today, so we are running to the train. Um, we have an integrated case today that's supposed to pull together all of the different themes for the week. Um, so hopefully that'll be exciting and interesting. And uh, after that, we have an activities fair with lots of clubs. So I'll let you know how that goes too. Happy Friday. So I am at work now and I'm in one of these like little photo, no, not photo booths phone booth type things. Um, they have them on every floor in the building so that you can like have a private little area to like take phone calls or whatever. Um, but I like to come in here and work sometimes so that there's just like nothing else going on. Um, and it's a nice quiet private space. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish my presentation slides so that um, I have a meeting, well like a meeting with the other um, interns and we're all going to run through our presentations together uh, with each other to practice before we do all of our presentations in front of the whole company on Tuesday. So yeah, we're going to have this little like practice today um, and then I'm probably still going to like refine the actual like visuals um, on my slides on Monday so that they are 100% ready on Tuesday. Um, and I also have to meet with my boss to make sure that everything that's in my slides is um, allowed to be company-wide knowledge. So, yep, that's what's on the agenda for today. And, um, and then Tim comes to New York, so yeah. Hey guys, so it has been a little bit of a whirlwind. Um, I had class this morning, and then we had a student activity fair, and I got to join a bunch of different interest groups, which was super exciting and super interesting, um, as well as some community service programs. Uh, now though, I'm getting on a bus and I'm headed to New York City. So 
thanks for watching. Hope that was interesting seeing the side by side med school in Boston, practicum in New York, etc. Um, yeah, let me know, uh, like, comment, whatever, if you want to see more about Tim's med school stuff um, and or my MPH stuff. <laughs>